how to insert a block from a different file. In this exercise, we have just two rectangles here. They can represent a top projection of four walls. So, we have a room here. Now, I want to insert blocks that I've used previously in different files here in AutoCAD. As you might know, when I go to insert a block, I can only see the blocks from the current file, only these title blocks located in the layout tabs. Now, there are two main methods I recommend. Importing the blocks from the design center and using the tool palette. Then there is a third method, which is the easiest. Copying the file to the clipboard and then paste it in the destination file. And the problem here is if both files have different units assigned, for example, inches to millimeters, the conversion will not be done. And then you can have a result like this. Okay, the first good method is the design center. You can find that icon in the view tab, palettes panel, and then it's here. In the window that shows on the screen, you can browse for a file you want, in the folder list at the left, I select this floor plan exercise, go to blocks, and now let's choose this door standard. I double click on it. Immediately after, the window to insert the block shows on the screen to edit several settings. I can choose from specifying the insertion point on screen or setting specific coordinates. I can also set a scale factor or set a rotation angle. Now, very important, this is the part where I can see the block units. As the door in this former file is in meters, I need a conversion factor of 1000 to insert it here. So, as you can see now, the door is now scaled correctly. Another way to insert a block from other file is with the tool palette. When you click on the command, you notice that this window opens with lots of tools here. These tools are organized in palettes and then I can also organize several palettes in a group. The buttons here can be everything, from commands, layers, dimensions, leaders, text styles, or also blocks, which is what this tutorial is about. Now, these are the default palettes when I install AutoCAD. However, I can always customize them. Go to this bar, click with the right button and then click on Customize Palettes. At the left, I can see all the palettes I have in AutoCAD and at the right, the palette groups. Let's explain this better. So, currently, all the palettes are displayed. And sometimes, as you can see, this can be a considerable big list. On the other hand, a group only displays specific palettes. For example, I'm going to click again here with the right button and in the section below I can see all the palette groups. Let's choose the first one, Annotation and Design. And then only the palettes, Annotation, Architectural, Mechanical, Hatches and Fills, Electrical, Civil and Structural show on the screen. By the way, if I choose 3D Make, I can see just three palettes. Modify, Draw and Modeling. Ok, now, how can I add a custom palette to display specific blocks? First, in the palette groups, let's click with the right button and then on New Group. Let's name it Cad in Black Blocks. Then, of course, we need to add at least one palette to this group. Go to the section on the left, right click, new palette, let's name it kitchen, and then create another one for the furniture. After, I need to drag both palettes to the corresponding group, which is cat in black. Then I close. Ah, look, these palettes were also added to the 3D make. That's alright, just go again to customize, 
and then on the group 3D make, erase both kitchen and furniture. As you can see, they are still in the group cut in black. Let's go back. Right click here and then switch to the group cut in black. Here you can see the palettes I created. Finally, to bring blocks to the palettes, I can do it from the design center. So let's open two sample files. This one called Home Space Planner. And another one called Kitchens. Then when I go to the Design Center, I can switch to the tab Open Drawings, so I don't need to find them out in the folders list. In the Space Planner file, let's add a chair, this bed, and also a desk, for example. And for the kitchen, I click on Blocks, and let's add several blocks to the palette by just dragging them. Ok, so as you can see, this is a useful method to organize your blocks from different files by category, owner or other nomenclature you think it will be useful for you. That's all in this video. Please feel free to visit my page on Patreon where you can support this channel if you're happy of course, and there you can also get access to the exercise files. I would really appreciate that, even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos useful for you. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time!